Hi there. I got me a keen cutter broad axe. This is beautiful. I only paid a lot of money for this. See all the raised letters here? This keen cutter. In case anybody says I got a phony, this is the real thing. Okay? I'm going to see how well it does on this log we got behind us here. But I got to get it sharpened up first, you know? Because I want to make sure it's nice and shiny and smooth, shaven and sharp, you know. I was just kind of pulling there like before. This one of my right hand is cast iron. And this is one of those imagination keen cutters, okay? One of my left hand is a real keen cutter. Okay, it's a little old. It's been repaired. Alright. So there's a crack here. And Mike, you drill a hole and beat it out. And he tigged it. And we're going to compare this guy with this guy. And the object is going to be durability of this head on my right hand versus durability of the head on my left hand and also durability of one of our repairs. Okay? So, okay, this is good keen cutter quality steel. Can you hear the ring there? Okay, we're going to test out this cast iron one. Can you see that? Oh my goodness! I think it's dead! Hi, this is the good king cutter. It's already been sharpened as you can see. I'm like I touched my fingers on it because it's pretty sharp. Okay, so we got this one jigged up in some wood and a post vise. And we did it with a file and sandpaper method. That's what we're going to use on this one, okay? This thing sounds totally different when I'm cleaning, I mean filing on this one. And I've got a nice new Simmons file that I got shopping the other day. Probably the sharpest file I've ever seen around here. But it's working its way to put an edge on this bit. You notice I'm going one direction with the file. Anybody ever figure out why? I'm not doing this bit. All right. Now what happens is when you pull backwards, you'll pack metal grit, metal filings into the teeth when you load it up. This is coming off. It's pretty soft compared to the other one. You can, I can tell by the, the sound. I can tell by the feel of the way this file is cutting. And this is much softer than the other keen cutter. And you can tell by the Hmm? Oh, this is a a youth axe, but it's made by HB, Hulse Brooks, and it's going to be in here for repair. But can you hear the difference in the sound in the filing on this? And this is much harder steel, and it's really not being cut like this softer one is.
it's just rolling. So I was thinking it's as soft as it is, you're not going to get a good edge yeah. on it. Yeah, it's just... You almost have to hit the back edge and take the roll off. Talk about it. What's happening is we're filing and sanding. Instead of leaving a straight edge here, it's kind of rolling off the back side. And see, I can run my finger back and forth across here. Okay. And I wouldn't dare do it on this one here. There's no burr or anything like that. All right. So it's uh, sharpening is definitely, you're not going to get as sharp as the real one. Okay. But we're going to use it. Okay, we're going to see how sharp we made these things, okay? This has got some pitting in it, so it's not going to be smooth. I'm just not going to be hair shaving sharp like you see some of these fancy guys. So we're going to cut the cardboard here. Okay, so that's going to cardboard with some movement, okay? All right. Let's try this guy. Same piece of cardboard. Not doing very well, is it? Oh, there's go. No, no, it's tearing. Dang, look at that. Look, see a nice clean cut there. Look at this ragged cut right there. That's a tear. So that's how sharp, how unsharp this one is. Okay. Now we're gonna put handles on it. You have a little pecky hammer. Oh, son of a gun. Looky here. Already, it's starting to crack. Right there. Already, all I'm doing is pounding the wedge in. And I don't even have the wedge fully seated. Okay? So tell me again how sturdy these things are. Watch your foot there. At least you got something to stop the blade if you miss. Yeah. Shut it off. The track is longer, and uh, the fracture is going to continue. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do what a lot of people do: is we're going to put this in wood and strike it with a hammer, like we're splitting wood. And they got the, the axe stuck, and they started pounding on it. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Here's my real keen cutter. Okay, we're going to test the eye. Here's an old hammer. Okay. Now, I got my safety glasses on. Okay, I don't know what's going to happen here. Oh! 
You lost parts. Oh my goodness! I got the ur over here. Did you get hit? No, I went over this way. I think there were a couple pieces. I'm not sure where the other one went. Wow! I hit that puppy twice, and it's run. My great keen cutter broad axe is run. I'm gonna go get my money back. I know there's been some talk that maybe there will be about cast steel versus cast iron. All right, this is cast iron. It's soft pig metal, very porous, has no structural strength, has no carbon in it that I know of. Okay, this one here is steel, and you'll see on some of them cast steel, and they'll be abused and beat and everything else, but they're steel. They're not going to fracture, shouldn't fracture like this one did. I only hit this thing twice. And I didn't hit it with, with all my strength either. And uh, it didn't take much abuse at all. Thank you. Our objective was a couple of things here. One was to look at the safety of people using this cast iron cane cutter broad axe that people are so proud of. And we can see that by its fracturing and pieces flying off, uh, that it's not a safe axe to use. Uh, we compared it with the other keen cutter that we repaired, and we'll look closely at the repair job on that. But this one here, all it's turned into now is a business card holder. And uh, we couldn't sharpen it. it. It didn't have any ring to it. It had a dull clunk sound. And we can see we did something that we shouldn't really do. We struck the axe head with a hammer. Really shouldn't do that. And we can see here why. Because you have shrapnel and pieces flying off. And uh, it's just not a safe axe for people to use. Thank you. I'm Dave and he's Mike. And this is First American Axe and Forge. Thanks.